Christy, thanks for joining us on Blues TV this afternoon. Thanks for having me on. So you got injured in pre-season and it's kind of been a, a long road for a, back from recovery for you. How does it feel now to finally be back on the pitch with the girls? Yeah, it's great. It feels like a long time since obviously I've been back fully, so the last couple of weeks has been brilliant just to kind of be in with the squad and I'm obviously looking forward to the girls coming back off international so I can be with everybody, the full team, and like build into obviously Reading uh, next week. And when you've got a new manager and new players and then you do get that injury, how frustrating is it for, for you knowing that you, you don't get that playing time with them straight away? Yeah, it's really frustrating. I think, obviously, like you said, there's a whole new team in terms of staff and and playing staff, so it's been really frustrating that to be involved at the start, um, especially when Scott's trying to embed kind of his philosophy and how he wants us to play. So, but I'm obviously back now and I'm excited to kind of get going. And how has it been working under Scott? I know you've briefly worked with him at Glasgow City, mm -hmm. but now working with him on a longer term basis, how how have you found it so far? Yeah, I think it's been really good. Obviously, we've got, again, like I said, we've got a whole new squad, so it's taken time for us to kind of all, all knit together um, and kind of get going in terms of like how Scott wants us to play as well. So, yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed the, the training session. So, again, like I say, I'm just buzzing to get back on the pitch again. So, being an experienced player and on the sidelines, it's frustrating for you, but you're afforded that benefit of of being able to coach from the sidelines as well, post-match speaking to the players. But, but what have you found made of the team's performances so far? I think as this kind of season's gone on, um, as a group we've kind of, kind of knitted together um, and you can see like the progression on the pitch, like we're working hard, we're more organised and I think that just comes with time. So for me it's obviously given me an opportunity to watch all my new teammates, see how they play and, and try and use that when I come back into the pitch again and learn how they where they want the ball and, and how that kind of goes. But I think in terms of like, performances, I think they've grown um, each game and I hope that that continues going into obviously the second half. Now. And, and I know with Scott you've got a leadership group. How important is it to have to have those leaders in the team and even like yourself when you're on the sideline you're still a part of that group and still able to lead the team. Yeah I think it's important but I think every player in the team can be a leader in terms of like how they are on and off the pitch um, helping each other and for me that's that's a massive thing so yeah I think I think it is important but in the same breath like we've all got responsibility in terms of making each other better every day. And when so many players are away on international duty how important is it when, when they pick up wins on duty, then bringing that confidence back into the group when they come back to club? It's, it's great. I think when you, personally being there myself, like when you come off, obviously they back a few good wins, like you feel good and you want to bring that like positive energy into the group. So I'm looking forward to obviously having the girls back and, and that helping us give us a little lift and obviously um, the friendly on Sunday and then in the game next week. And when the international players are on duty how what what do you do in training what do you focus on in that period of time um a lot of running <laughs> um no listen it's been good i think personally for me it's given me an opportunity to get to know obviously some of the, the new players in the group having been out injured so that's been really good and i think for us it's just building again on what scott's wanting us to do um as a team so it's, it'll be great to have everyone back to again obviously just add more layers to that because of the time where you picked up your injury, you're in a unique position still after being here for a year and a half that you've not actually played in front of the fans yet. No. That must be something that you're looking forward to. I know you have a good relationship with the fans on social media, so mm. you must be excited to get in front of them again. Yeah, I think our fans have been brilliant, especially last year during obviously COVID and things like that. So I'm excited to play at St Andrews, um, play in front of obviously a home crowd and hopefully have my family come and watch at some point because they've not seen me play for Blues yet. So, um, so that'll be nice. And looking ahead, we've got a, a good run of fixtures coming up. We've got Red and then obviously into the Second City derby. Mm -hmm. How are the team looking going into those fixtures? I think op optimistic. I think we just need to continue building on the performances that we've done um, and focusing on ourselves and taking, literally as cliche as it sounds, taking the first one and then building on that um, and not looking too far ahead. Thanks for joining us, Christy. Good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you.